Hello friends, let us discuss the topic of equilibrium conversion in a reversible reaction. Equilibrium conversion is highest conversion that can be achieved in a reversible reaction. Now this is a reversible reaction, a reversibly giving R. Here you can use this equation uh, from chapter number 2 to find the equilibrium constant. E indicate equilibrium. R and A, these are the components of the reaction. A is a reacting component, R is a product. Now, M indicate the molar ratio CR0 upon CA0. Now, let us understand the relation between K and T. Van Toff equation, this is thermodynamically very important equation. It is the derivative of or change in the value of ln k with respect to temperature which is equal to heat of reaction divided by r into t square where t is a operating temperature k is a equilibrium constant this is heat of reaction r is a universal gas constant so this is uh, the equation governing equilibrium constant how it is changing with temperature at constant pressure now conclusion from thermodynamics, you have to list all these conclusions very clearly. First conclusion is thermodynamic equilibrium constant depend on the temperature of the reaction system and is independent of pressure of the reaction system. The presence of inert in the reaction system and kinetics of the reaction. If K is very very less uh, greater than 1 implies that practically complete conversion may be possible means reaction is unidirectional. On the other hand if K is very very less than 1 implies that reaction is reversible. For endothermic reactions equilibrium conversion rises with an increase in temperature you have to notice this point very clearly. With increasing temperature endothermic reactions their conversion is increasing and exactly reverse happen with the exothermic reactions. In case of gas phase reaction taking place with a decreased number of moles, conversion increases with increasing pressure of the reaction system. Okay, When a gas phase reaction takes place with increasing number of moles, conversion decreases with increase in pressure of the reaction system. So you have to understand this concept also. For all reactions, a decrease in inert has the same effect as that of increase in pressure of the gas phase reaction. So here presence of inert is also noted. The equilibrium concentration of the reacting material and equilibrium conversion can be affected by presence uh, pressure of the reaction system, the presence of absence of inert and kinetics of the reaction. Now this clearly indicate how the exothermic in case of exothermic and in case of endothermic the uh, temperature is how it is affecting conversion equilibrium conversion for exothermic reactions you can see increase in temperature resulting into decrease in the value of conversion equilibrium conversion and for endothermic reaction you can see the increase in graph is there okay so here k is very very greater than 1 and here k is very very less than 1 now about this pressure this graph is also indicating the same things this is a concentration means indirectly pressure increasing pressure or decreasing um, inerts right so uh, increase in pressure and decrease in pressure will have effect on conversion this can be uh, very well explained using this graph one indicate maximum conversion and you are knowing that maximum conversion is not merely possible so if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you